Hi YouTube, Alan here. Welcome to the third video in my series on the assembly of my 2015 Sun Hokey Prusa i3 3D printer. In this video, I will be covering the assembly of the filament spool holder, the Y-axis motor mount, and the assembly of the main frame of the 3D printer. I found that the company's instructional videos for this section lump too much together, so what I decided to do was break it down into a bit more manageable parts. I still cover the same processes and, and steps, I just break it down into smaller parts and chunks. If you're following along or want to skip to a certain part, please click on the links that are on your screen now. If you have any comments or concerns or questions, please leave them down in the comments below. To keep up to date with my build videos and any future 3D printing adventures, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button down below. Now let's get to it. So on this part of the build video, we will be assembling the spool holders. For this, we will need four acrylic parts, four M5 by 25 millimeter screws, eight M5 washers, four M5 nuts, and eight M5 bearings. So we're just gonna take our acrylic part, two M5 screws, and put them into the holes. And we're gonna take two of the M5 washers and put one on either side. one on either screw, and then put a bearing on each, and a bearing going the opposite direction, so that we end up with the groove there, and then finally another set of washers, the other acrylic piece, and two M5 nuts. There's one, and we just repeat the process on the second. So there we are, with the two spool holders. And the spool sits right on top, and spins quite easily. Just like that. In this part, we will assemble the Y-axis motor mount. For this we'll need three acrylic parts, one T2.5 pulley, one stepper motor, three M3 by 16 millimeter screws, two M3 by 12 millimeter screws, four M3 by 10 millimeter screws, five M3 nuts, and one end stop. So now let's start putting this together. When mounting the acrylic part, the motor to the acrylic part, we want to note that the slanted part will go on the bottom of the motor. So now we'll attach the pulley onto the stepper motor drive shaft. So we'll just use the small, small Allen key to space and we'll fix it like we did last time with one of the set screws going towards the flat side of the motor mount. There we go. So we'll set, set that aside for a second. The end stop is going to go on the side, so we just want to have it mounted like this. So then we use the two 12 millimeter M3 screws and two M3 nuts to fasten. So we'll mount this on like we did do previously with one M3 by 16 millimeter bolt and one M3 nut. Nice fixed on. And so for this we want to mount the motor so it's away from the end stop, so it's on the side. You will note that this side is close to these holes on this side, and that's purposeful so that the pulley ends up in the center of this acrylic piece. Just 
want to make sure that these are nice and snug so the motor doesn't move, but not too tight that you'll crack the acrylic. So that brings us to the end of this part of the build. In this part, we will be assembling the main frame of the printer. For this, we'll need the three large acrylic parts, the extruder assembly, two T8 lead screw uh, couplers, 14 M3 nuts, two M3 by 12 millimeter nut screws, 12 M3 by 16 millimeter screws, the two previously assembled Z motor mounts, and the previously assembled Y motor mount. We're just going to set everything aside for right now and focus on the extruder. For this, we'll take the extruder body and the large acrylic piece and the two M3 by 12 millimeter screws. And two M3 nuts. attach this now until I get the rest of the frame assembled. Note the left L and the R denoting the left and right side of the printer. So we'll start with the left side. I've just moved the camera angle to hopefully represent this better. So with this we'll need three M3 nuts and three M3 by 16 millimeter screws. Snug these up as well. Make sure that the extruder doesn't move anywhere. And now the right side. Now we'll turn this around and attach on the mounted Y motor. And this just slides on once again with two M3 by 16 millimeter screws and two M3 nuts. Now we'll mount the two Z-axis motors. We'll start off with putting on the T8 lead screw coupler. For this, we'll need the two couplers and a wrench. With these couplers, there's a wide end and a narrow end. The narrow end goes onto the motor drive shaft and the wide end goes onto the T8 lead screw. With these, we'll want to do the same thing we did with the pulleys and line up one of these set screws with the flat spot on the drive shaft. And then we'll want to tighten it down. We'll use a slightly larger one. Use an Allen key for a spacer. And then we'll want to torque this quite tight. Now we're going to mount these motors onto the frame. The top plate of each motor mounting has a little hole. This is where the Z-axis linear rail will insert. Um, this should be on the outside of, each, of the printer.
Each of these motor mats attaches with two M3 by 16 millimeter screws and two M3 nuts. And that brings us to the end of the, this part of the build. It's really starting to look like a 3D printer now. <laughs>